Hello, Isolation Nation. Welcome to yet another social distancing social club. I'm one of your hosts, Ben Glebe. It's been quite a 24 hours, no memory of what I did. Uh, pretty sure there was stuff in there. Life has blended together <laughs> like some kind of undiscernible dessert that you eat because you just have given up and resigned to the fact that you're going to be a little pudgier than you prefer and you don't know what you're putting in your mouth. That's what life has become for me. I don't know if that's a positive <laughs> or a negative. Seems like an auspicious note to start the show on. So I'm going to pass it on to one of our <laughs> other hosts, the middle leg of the quarantine. Please give it up for the newly bald Steve Hofstetter, everybody. Hey, it's, it's newly shorn. Uh, I very <laughs> unlike Ben. Uh, did, I don't think I did any things at all. So I know you did some things in your day. I, th I did no things. You're aware uh, that you did nothing? You have a clear memory of the last 24 hours? I have a clear. Okay, you know what? I, I hosted two shows after our live stream. But aside oh, from the three. that's what I did. I was yeah, on you were also shows. on those. Thank you yeah. for refreshing. It's like a memento <laughs> happening live. Yeah, remember when you performed stand-up comedy twice? Holy, and then you angered so a couple weird. from Florida? I did. I did <laughs> anger a couple from Florida. <laughs> Deserve it. No offense. I think our special guests might be in Florida right now. We will find out shortly. But uh, it is what it is. It, it is it is their fault for that being where their parents probably had sex and then they were born. Agreed. It is that is their they should they should have known better. Uh, I mean, their state is shaped kind of like that. Anyway, we're happy to have you guys. Hello, everyone. Uh, of course, if you want to support the show, you can super chat on YouTube. You can Venmo at the top right of the screen, or you can PayPal at Laugh From Home. There's all kinds of new stuff now. There's Facebook stars, and for the first time, we are also live streaming on my Twitter. So we're going to see if that works, if anybody cares. That's going to be fun. Uh, and of course, I want to say hello uh, to our uh, our front row. As always, we have our, our front row audience, and we have uh, some regulars here. We're so excited. Uh, let's see. We've got Jessica. We've got Rebecca. Uh, we've got Savannah. Uh, thank you, all of you, for uh, for joining us. And I think uh, some more are coming in a bit. And uh, if you want to join us here in the front row, go to laughfromhome.com and, uh, and pick up a ticket. And with that, the right leg or the left leg? Which one, if I'm the middle one, what is he? Ben, you decided I'm the middle. Ben is muted. <laughs> I, I, I think, I, I think I'm, I'm, I think, I'm, 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 I'm the left leg, I would imagine. I would I say he's the point. tail. I'd say Bowers is the tail. <laughs> You're <laughs> the middle leg and I'm the right leg. And we don't have a left leg. We well, are Queen, yeah, Rachel could, left leg. Queen, Queen Rachel could be the left leg. We could give no, no, Queen it, Rachel it, is the horns. It makes sense. <laughs> that because I'm Jewish. Sense. Very the, No, not not this Queen Rachel. We mean uh, the good looking Queen Rachel. Queen Rachel does not look good mm -hmm. on Sundays. What <laughs> <happened? again. laughs> uh, but Did that actually makes sense that we have Are you no... howling at the moon? What's <laughs> happening over there? <laughs> it makes sense that we have no left leg uh, because we run in circles many times. Anyway, the tale True. of the quarantine. Uh, please welcome Mr. Chris Bowers, everybody. Chris Bowers. Hey, how we doing? I went to Walmart today, so I know what I did the last 24 hours. Four of them were spent at Walmart trying to get in that place uh, to get some food. I do think it was kind of fun to watch all the people in their masks. Everyone's wearing a mask now. Realize they have terrible breath. That was fun. You can see on their faces that they did not plan this well, and hopefully they'll remember <laughs> that. When they become a regular person again and don't have to wear a mask, and they don't let their bad breath ruin the rest of the world. So I'm happy about that. Uh, we do have amazing comics today. Uh, Kareem Green is here. Say hi to Kareem. Kareem, say hello, everybody. Hey, yeah. and we have Carmen Morales. I don't know if Carmen's in here right now, but say hi to Carmen if she's here. Say hi to Carmen Morales. She's going to be great. Uh, and uh, other than that, we got a great show. Uh, ben, do we have today's game? Well, do we have the winner from yesterday's game? And wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, you can't just gloss over the fact that you went to Walmart for groceries. You live in Los Angeles now where there are stores. <laughs> what I'm saying is the stores don't have, the Vons by my house and the Ralphs by my house don't have all the stuff we were looking for. So we had to go to Walmart. So. Yeah, I don't know why hot people dogs aren't. in a 36 pack. <laughs> right, they don't sell. What? They only sell them four at a time. At Vons, that's not enough hot dogs, Steve. We all know that. I need, <laughs> I need a brick of hot dogs, or I'm not going to be. I don't understand person. why people aren't using Instacart. Why are you trying to go out and get coronavirus? Can you explain that to me, please? Uh I don't know what Instacart is, and I want to. Be, I <laughs> If he's wait, hold on. He's willingly shopping at Walmart while living in Los Angeles, and you want him to use Instacart one step at a time. Let's have him go to a gas station first. Like there are there are levels here. Strong point. Let me let me rephrase that. Why don't you ask your wife slash sister to go out to the store for you? 
what? girlfriend, who's not my wife or my sister, but uh, I appreciate I was making that. a joke about uh, you being <laughs> I was making a joke about you being a hillbilly inbred and a hillbilly uh, and not knowing this, anything fancy. This what the joke got, didn't work is, great. Is this what you got in trouble for with the Florida people? Is that what happened, Ben? <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so I, I look. Maybe it was a mistake. I, I go. I go out every four days, and I go to a store and I buy food. I, I probably should every four days. I got to go outside at some point to drive in my car. I just can't sit in my car. We want right you safe, a, man. Come on. You don't have to go to safe. a store every four damn days. Well, by the way, Ben, Ben, hold on. Hot dogs do go bad rather quickly. So <laughs> they they're going to spoil. They go in my mouth. They go in my mouth very quickly. It's not like they're spoiling. I'm just eating them all. I just need more. Hot yeah. Dogs. And they limit it to 136 pack per customer. So that's the real problem. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's every four days. That's my point. Four, every four days. I, <laughs> yeah. <a> hot dog. <laughs> I disapprove of most of Bauer's late decisions, but that's nothing new. We hope you remove the virus free. <laughs> the winner of our 24-hour overnight game on Twitter, our hashtag SDSC game was hashtag worst meals, and Jen Winklepeck submitted the following answer. Long ago, in Tacoma, I ate a living goldfish to win front row Backstreet Boys tickets. Side note, I won. I didn't get to eat for the rest of the evening because I was busy being a teeny bopper, so I'll count that as a meal. It's a count. Yes, it wiggled <laughs> the whole way down. <laughs> nice. All Congratulations. Right. You've won yet another prize for having swallowed a live goldfish. <laughs> Who thought yeah. that would have been one of your best decisions? That's the, that's the prize <laughs> that keeps on giving. It is <laughs> yes. indeed. Our game for today, we will announce right now the game we'll be playing all episode long. Please join us in the comments. The game for today is Quarantine a Movie. Take any movie title you'd like and make it quarantine style or the plot, whatever you want. Play it as you'd like. You can enter for free in the comments or if you'd like to be considered for the prize, you enter a $5 super chat or PayPal or Venmo or more. And you are eligible for the prize of all 13 of our host digital albums and a ticket to the front row of this audience. Steve Hofstetter is now surrounded by goldfish. <laughs> the Fire only ones that I will eat to win anything. Fair yes. enough. <laughs> Although not as exciting as being surrounded by falling Cheerios being bandied about by Charo twirling churros. <laughs> which, which, by the way, I mean, that is just such a ridiculous thing. And why would anyone do that? Oh, God, here it is again. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> are we seeing so, it? I don't know if we are. Okay, good. Yeah, it's no, we, we are. There it is. All right. And then, oh, uh, oh, no, it wasn't on the screen. Okay, cool. Now, there it is. There we go. Charo right. with churros and Cheerios. Yeah. Ben, and just for, just for good measure. <laughs> so the game for today is quarantine, quarantine a movie. So please join us. And there's me we again a, eating a sour lemon on the host of my game show. Can we give a couple examples just to, uh, you know, just to get sure. people playing? I would love that. Uh, okay. Uh, I have uh, the Shawshank Transmission. <laughs> um, Iron Deficiency Man. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises at 11, maybe 1130. Uh, and of course, my favorite kids movie, Frozen Food. So... <laughs> Some examples for you if you guys want to play along. Play along in the comments. It's free to enter, of course, but if you want to win the prize, it is $5 or you have to swallow a live goldfish on film and send it to us. But we, we prefer the five. Facts. I love it. Is it time for our celebrity guest? It, it is. is. Let's do it. I love it. Since you showed a photo of Idiot Test again, she was a contestant on a special celebrity episode of Idiot Test. She was the original host of the car remodeling and pimping out show Overhauling, and just became one of the most beloved and well-known and famous women in all of the car world. She then went on to host Destination Wild. She hosted Power Nation on Spike for many years. And she is also the host, EP, and creator of The Ride That Got Away. Season one is currently on Amazon Prime. Season two is underway and will be on History Channel this fall. Also, she was one of FHM's 100 <laughs> Sexiest Women in the World. Please welcome Courtney Hansen, everybody. Thank you, BG. Thank you for that. Thanks, you guys, for having me on. Thanks for being with us. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm, I'm trying to make the most of this crazy time. Um, 
yes, we're eating a lot, but I'm also exercising a lot. I got a new bike today. Um, my daughter, who's five, is riding a bike without training wheels. So every wow. second she wants to be outside. So, yes, eating a lot and also getting a lot of workouts in. I love that. The I'm good doing news half is, of that myself. Yeah. <laughs> the good news also is you're, you're a car host and cars are still totally okay. Like totally. You can still drive and, around. And I do, like, I, I have to get out of the house, as y- you all do, too, I'm sure. And so I find that driving is therapeutic, and I do my, my calls. I work remotely from the car. So, yes, cars are alive and well during this time. Where now, are you now, right now? Are, are you in Florida? I'm in Florida. And you guys, were, oh. you were surrounded by goldfish. I'm surrounded by naked ladies on this painting, this Indian That's painting. <laughs> <laughs> I purposely did that for you guys. Yeah, I'm totally surrounded by naked ladies also at home by myself, quarantined by myself for like weeks. I'm totally You're just torturing him. You're torturing him. Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're, they're just out of frame. You can't see them because they're out of frame. They're on the other side of the camera. Uh, if you could just see them on the other side of the camera, they all live in Canada. You guys know them, right? Yeah, if, that, if, that, if, that was painted, if that painting was at Steve's house, there'd be stuff all over it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, it would match your jacket. And I'm glad my five-year-old isn't sitting right here. Courtney, you are in Florida? Yeah, I'm in Florida right now, in south, southwest Florida. Does that make the quarantine 500 times worse? You never know what's going to happen um, in Florida. Sinkhole, yes. bath salt, people eating each other's face off, alligators, etc. <laughs> All of it. And nobody's <laughs> taking it seriously. I bet they're not. They're back they're on the not. beach. Uh, they, they're just like, so they, they maybe did like three days of quarantine. They're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, I I was gonna have a question for Courtney, but we already have one in our from our live video audience. Can we do that? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. J- Jarrett, Rachel, because R- Queen Rachel turns into Jarrett on Sundays. Yeah. Uh, so do you do you already see? Oh, Rachel didn't give you those. Uh, sorry, I'll do the Venmos. Uh, so uh, Savannah Martin has a question for Courtney. Uh, Savannah, a regular on our show, uh, she stands Bowers when we when we make fun of him too much. Uh, <laughs> so, what is your uh, what is your question, Savannah? Um, so, I've considered going for my master's in marketing because I already have my bachelor's, Ben. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you would like to see a successful m- mug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Courtney, yes, uh, you went to you went to State university, correct? Yes, I did. For marketing, I did. Would you do it again? I would do it all over again. I loved it. I had a blast at FSU, and um, another comedian, Burt Kreischer, went there too. We were friends yes. in college. You guys all know Bert. Um, and I, I had the greatest experience, but it wasn't all education for me. It was a lot of fun. I was president of my sorority. I was involved in a right? different organization. Yeah, Pi Beta Phi. And I worked hard, but I played really hard. And I feel like that's what you're supposed to do in college, right? And so I, I, I would absolutely do it all over again. Wait, Courtney, you've always you done there? that. Were you you've there always during... partied very hard. Yeah. <laughs> Equally with your, with your serious. Yeah, you're a big tequila drinker. I love that. You, you spawned in me a love of tequila. Woo! I'm happy to were do you, it. Were you, Courtney? Were you there for Bert's first three years or his last four? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was there during the first four. I we were there together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by the time he by the time he graduated, you had like a you had a couple jobs already. Yeah, I lived in like five cities, and then I was in Los Angeles for three years, and yeah. then Bert graduated, and then he came to LA. But, nice. But what, he's killing it. What was what was Bert like in college? Because he still talks about those days. He's the party animal, the Rolling Stone story about him being the real life Van Wilder. What was he like? Just a little bit skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> No shirt. Though. Fantastic. <laughs> Still no shirt. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think he was big on wearing a shirt then either. <laughs> <laughs> He's been no yeah, shirt since that, day one. He yeah, actually that's dated my sister. Thing. He dated. Wait, he dated. He dated your sister. Yeah. He dated yeah. Jordan. Yes. They were. Is now a good away. time to bring I mean, up why Ben knows your sister's <laughs> name? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Can I do this? So, Cor- Courtney, I've met you before, but in the context, yeah. in a different context, you were not on our show as much as you were Ben's girlfriend. Yeah. So, 
That's a fun thing for everyone to know. Um, yeah, I clear, I, I'm not just being a dick. I asked Ben if it was okay to say this ahead of time. It's fine with me. I don't know if it's okay with Courtney. But <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, and also we don't know if the judge is cool with it either, but I, uh, I think that... <laughs> it was becoming more i was like i don't know if i should bring this up or not i was kind of teasing a little bit and then and then you clearly knew way too many details about her life and i was like all right it's pretty obvious that these guys have a history yeah i have a lot of stories a lot of stories ben, did, you just book, did, did you just book her on the show so you could say that she was in the top 100 hottest women fhm just so you could say you yeah. one of those? that's that's not a pretty a good fact I'm, that's a pretty in fact pretty i'm booking. embarrassed of in my life i'll tell you oh, that no one. that's yeah. I've never been more impressed with you until right now. This is the answer I've ever liked you. Oh, uh, I forgot about uh, it. I, I was like, oh, wait, that's right. I forgot. I'm, cur I'm you, curious, though. You dated Ben or you're the top 100? Did you forget? <laughs> Courtney, oh, uh, yeah, what, what number were you? What number were you? <laughs> Probably 100. <laughs> I don't oh, think you know true. the number? I feel like it was girlfriends like, or in the top 100? Oh, no. Like, <laughs> I don't think 76. it was anywhere near 100. <laughs> Maybe, but also you're on the cover of it. They only chose 12 people for the cover, and you were on the cover. Oh, how do you yeah, remember these things? Because it's, his, it's his resume. Let me explain. That's how. Yes. A man that has dated one of the hottest women in the world remembered that she was on the cover of the magazine or not. It's his you. intro. It's yeah. his intro for a comedy show. Like, welcome to the stage. He's been on Idiot Test. He once dated one of the top 100 HFFs. <laughs> <laughs> ben Glee. It's his, it's his credit. He uses there, there's all the a world. reason. Ben, don't swing, don't swing your camera out. You'll see the framed cover, Courtney. It's real embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> was a major part even of my presidential campaign. I once dated one of the hottest women in the world and I can bring the country together. And they're like, what does that have to do with anything? I'm like, I just wanted to mention it. Here's the thing. If she was top 10 though, they would have given you a second mug. So. <laughs> they were making fun of me, Courtney, because I only have one mug for my campaign. I was joking to clarify. Plenty of people ordered mugs. I only ordered one. Order hey, ben, Ben, people have been asking me, are you going to stay in politics? Hell fucking no. Oh. I'm out. <laughs> You're out. You're not going to have Ben Glebe to push around anymore. You're not going to run for <laughs> Congress or... No? No, I just ran for one specific reason to try to help us stop Trump and give another option during a very important election. I did not succeed in the ultimate goal of that, and I hope we still win. I don't have a desire to be in politics. I just had a desire to help the country, and I'll do that in cool. ways I can be more effective, which is as an entertainer I mean, and advocate for things. Tell you know, more that's jokes. the kind of thing that someone would say when they're angling for a vice presidency. <laughs> <laughs> don't really want. I don't really know. I, I haven't ruled I, it out. I can't say I, I think, ruled it out, but. I think Bill, Ben would be a great cop troller for like Reseda or whatever. You know, that'd be kind of cool. I think he could run for cop troller. You want to be Alderman? <laughs> or what are you going to do? Yeah, be an Alderman. I'd vote for you. Thank you. It's a bit of a step down from president, but I will take it under advisement. Uh, you know, you can go See. Uganda board president if you want. <laughs> I've ran and lost many times. <laughs> Same number of votes, by the way. <laughs> Courtney, um, I guess the question on everybody's mind is after dating me, has it been hard to get to a peak like that again in your life? Is it, mm. is it, all, is it all been tough? It's been a tough road, Ben. It's tough, right? <laughs> it's been super tough. I know. Also, how do you see, does it or how do you get through? Well, I'm a strong, <laughs> determined woman and I just, I'm getting through. I'm getting by. The other question, and I understand that she shouldn't have the headphones on, but just as people who know Ben really well, can we see the kid? Just <laughs> 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 we just, kid is a lot younger than when Courtney and I dated, so. <laughs> You'd have to be like a like a Benjamin Button kind of baby to pop. <laughs> she wanted to be here for this, but I thought, maybe that's probably not a good idea. Well, sure. She probably hardly ever gets to see idea. her dad. You know, I mean, it's tough. It's tough on the kid. <laughs> we did go to All right, lunch That was too day. far even for me. I'm ben, sorry. That lunch. was really. That day at lunch, um, where did we go for lunch? The, the no, vegan it was spot. dinner. It was dinner. Oh, no? it was dinner. It was dinner. And it was, it was Ben and his girlfriend. And yep. Holland, and Holland was like three, 
or t- yep. two. I think she was two, and it was terrible twos. And you guys, it was. She was wrong. What you said. <laughs> it was not her and best. It, it was, was not her best night. It was not her best night, and it was like I mean, I had to take her to the restroom more than once. And oh, here she is. She wants to say hi. Just come say hi, real quick, real quick. Just say hi. They want to say hi. Anyway, it was like a hellacious. <laughs> She showed her her terror terror personality. Hi, Holland. This is Holland. There's Ben. You Wait, know Holland. Holland, hey, can hi, you do me a favor everybody. real quick and just just throw on a flannel shirt and hold a mug just so we could? <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Holland? Say I'm I'm doing you? great, Ben. Tell Ben how you're doing. You remember? Hi, Holland. How are you? Good. Riding a bike with no training wheels. I heard you're riding a bike with no training wheels now. Congratulations. You said congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> and she's so very pool. lucky. You only have to see me once every five years or so. <laughs> <laughs> see him once every five years or so. No, we'll, we'll see you this summer. We'll make a point to see you this summer. If society and, ever opens up again, we don't know. And yeah. one good thing about Florida is the, the pool. <laughs> And so she, Holland has been in the pool. When she's not biking, she's in the pool. Baby, I need that. I need that for my. She, she took it for one of my earbuds. I'll, I'll be fine with one. You know, already, uh, already, already uh, stealing things at five. She's advanced. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> need to like seven. So. Oh man. If, okay, I can. If I can Courtney hear can't hear us, are you able to hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. Because you had a surprise in your pool the other day, didn't you? Oh my gosh, there was there was two snakes two black racer snakes in the pool. And I think they were mating and they loved it. They did not want to get out of the pool. And so it was, it took like an hour to get him out. And now she's coming back. Cause she Wait, tell us again them. why Florida's good. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's we're on the same wavelength. Steve, we're full, of snakes. <laughs> full, full of snakes. That sounds fun. You're selling it. I, You're selling it real yeah. hard. <laughs> Come down to the way, pool full of black snakes having sex. <laughs> Offhand, I don't typically remember. I, I don't remember the order of the plagues, but I'm pretty sure that's in there, right? Pool full of snakes. <laughs> oh man, it was definitely crazy, and I am not a fan of snakes. And we like April is the month that they all come out, so we've been. How'd you get them out? The driveway, um, just a stick, like a, you have a, a big stick, you have a, and they find you have a snake month. Florida has a snake <laughs> month. Yes, it's like in the month of April. <laughs> And the reason I know this is because my mom has a, a legitimate fear. Like she will call 911 if she sees a snake. And so she's read every book about snakes and done all this research. And she's visited all these snake museums and different things where like it took her like 25 years to finally touch a snake. And then she held a snake and was like, ah, but anyway, so she knows everything about snakes. So she was over the other day um, doing the social distancing thing in the driveway. And I, and I was walking out, out to bring water or whatever. I'm like, oh my God. And, and then she went into this whole thing about, she did not call 911 that time, but she went into this whole thing about how April is the snake month and they all come out and they're mating and they're excited to be in the sun. So anyway, that's why I know that. Your, your mom, mom has another- not, not living in Florida since she hates snakes? I mean, come on. Okay. I mean, move to Indiana, there aren't any snakes there. I, I know. Right? Yeah, that's, that's, why it's, well, that's why Indiana Jones is afraid of snakes and he's not Florida Jones. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Florida Jones would have been such a different movie. A lot more Weekend of Bernie style, I think. He's like, he's like digging and they're like, they're like, are you looking for artifacts? And he's like, no, meth. I'm looking for more meth. Actually. <laughs> you see my tea? Actually, he switches the thing with just a bag of tea. It's not sand, it's a yeah. bag of tea. <laughs> uh, I'm just happy I'm killing right. with the five-year-old. I found my demo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's do, do Santa Comics. Tracks? Yeah. Let's oh, we need to even... Troy's five-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even done. You guys? We haven't even done. Uh, we we should do a couple super chats and uh, and then we'll do the comics. So we'll run through a yes. couple real quick. So we have uh, Jennifer Kofed came in on the Venmo. Says two bucks. Says just don't turn on a black light. I think that was for me. Uh, and then uh, uh, Z Bunster the Bunt says, "Hey, looks like everybody showered. Ah, oh, that is so nice. Looks can be deceiving." Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I that's all I got today. on my end. We got uh, we I got showered. some we got some super chats coming in. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, uh, Tataresk gave two dollars. Said Cali <laughs> needs a Wegmans. That has to be about the uh, <laughs> the grocery store conversation that's happening. By the way, here. to to the rescue, you're playing the part of Rachel. Perfect. <laughs> to the rescue. Yes, you are. <laughs> 
You uh, would know that if you weren't use, so hungover like every Sunday, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you want your screen name to be, use a capitalization or a dash or something to well, direct wow. you. Nope. Jesus. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Kyra M sent five dollars. Uh, leave Florida alone, Ben. We are a proud, non-existent species. Come at me. Oh, <laughs> if I'm happy to leave Florida alone. I try whenever possible. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Amina Soleil uh, sent a dollar ninety-nine. Uh, said Holland, smile and say hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching in the other room. That. That's actually uh, that's actually what Ben also usually tells his dates. So that's... <laughs> he has very specific wording he uses. Very. Specific. <laughs> you think my okay. puns are long? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we're ready for a comic now. I think. We're yeah, ready let's for a do comic. it. Are we ready? All right. Come to the stage first. Oh, man, you're going to love this guy. New York comic. Uh, he's been on Comedy Central, HBO, live at Gotham. It's very funny. Kareem Green, everybody. Kareem Green. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, before I say anything, I'd like to first and foremost give a shout out to all of the essential workers out there, you know, and uh, I also <laughs> want to give a shout out to the uh, the unsung heroes of social distancing. Dead be dads. That's right, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> they've been the real MVPs of social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> they started years ago before all of us. <laughs> I don't know about other people, but that, they've definitely been doing it. You know. Uh, another thing is, uh, I don't. What I've been doing during these times is uh, keeping myself busy. I've been working out. I've been working out a lot, you know, because uh, there's a lot of diabetes in my family, and I've been through a lot of things in my life, you know. I've been uh, I've been locked up before. Uh, I've been in fights where I almost lost my life. I grew up in foster homes, but uh, you must be crazy if you think I'm gonna let sugar kill me. You understand that? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going out like I don't see how you're gonna let an ingredient take you out. I don't. Uh, <laughs> Gonna let a flavoring finish you off. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it. I'm not going out like that. I'm saying. I realize a lot of different things, man. Uh, another reason I'm working out too is because uh, uh, what's going on right now. I realize something. Uh, I'm. I need to be in shape because uh, I'm getting ready for the revolution. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see somebody out of shape, I'm like, ooh, you're looking like a new government victim to me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I'm just saying, I, I'm not saying I ain't going to get caught, you know, uh, when the revolution go down. I'm just saying I want to get tased at least twice, you know? <laughs> Did you ever see somebody who get tased more than once? You'd be like, damn, that's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> The guy who get to eat once is sad because he never gets to finish his story. You know, he's like, I don't care what no one says, I ain't going nowhere. I don't give a damn. <laughs> 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 you for the revolution. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! It's been a lot now. It's been a lot going through what we've been going through, man. And I notice uh, a lot of people have gotten uh, they've gotten happy because they got their stimulus checks. And uh, I'm not even waiting for those. I'm not even waiting for no stimulus check because, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I never gave them my stimulus money. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if I ask for that stimulus money, they're gonna give me uh, 15 years of quarantine. If I <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you got no one to hold them and no one to fold them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not even worth it, man. It's not worth it no more. You know. I learned another thing too, being a uh, being out here dealing with these situations. I noticed that a lot of people got mad. They got mad because uh, a tiger caught the COVID nineteen. You know, and uh, I was upset because we can't get a test. That's what I was wondering. Why we can't get a test? <laughs> tiger can. 
You got to be either a tiger or a celebrity to get a COVID or a celebrity. You know, you got to, you got to, you got to be very crafty nowadays. You got to, you got to be very crafty. I'm learning a lot of things, man. I'm learning, uh, you know, being, being in a quarantine, like with my lady and everything. I don't know how's everybody else going. Being in quarantine, that's when you know if you're really going to make it. You know, because <laughs> now you got to deal with them in and out, and you know what I'm saying, and they got to deal with you. So you know, and I'm learning things about my lady because, uh, for one, uh, uh, information, some uh, poignant information. Uh, my lady's white, right? And this is my first white relationship, you know, uh, or interracial, you know, white relationship. And uh, one of the things I've noticed is uh, she's she's a scared person. I don't know. Maybe this is a white girl thing. She's a very scared person. Like, even when we go to sleep, she'll wake up in the middle of the night like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I'm like, what's the matter? she be like, you. And I'm like, I think I'm her first black guy. That's what I'm <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> but, but to her defense, I do sleep in a ski mask. So, you know. <laughs> She likes it. She like it Caucasian cold in the house. I like it uh, African American warm. So I sleep in a ski mask, you know. And every and every time she gets scared too, she just she falls just a little bit, just a little bit. So it <laughs> evens the scale, you know what I'm saying? Because you never ever get to see a lady fall. So when it does, you know, it brings them down to earth. They can't act better than you as they used to do, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm learning a lot of things, man. I'm learning a lot of things. We're different ages, right? We, we, we're big, you know, there's a big age gap, you know what I'm saying? And we've never met each other's family, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, they're still kind of racist, you know, our families are still kind of racist. And, and we're just kind of waiting for some people to die, you know, so we can uh, make the proper. <laughs> <make it> proper. <laughs> because, um, you know. You know, we just waiting for this COVID nineteen to just so we can just uh you know do its work to make to make us a bigger family, you know. <laughs> we're dealing with these, we're dealing with it the best we can. We're dealing with it the best we can. But she's worried too, you know what I'm saying? She's not even worried about uh my race being an issue for her family because we never met each other's family. Um she's actually worrying about the age factor. You know what I'm saying? Like her uh you know, she think her parents may be upset, you know, that I may be a bit, I'm a bit older than her. But I'm not, that's one thing I'm not worried about. Because one thing I realized about white people, they are very, very terrible at calculating <laughs> black people's ages. It is a beautiful <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what is he, 23? <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful union, man. Thank y'all very much. I appreciate it. I'm Kareem. Green. Yes. Kareem Green, Kareem Green, everybody. Kareem Green. Kareem Green. Kareem Green. Uh, he crushed it, and he's part of our new program here on SDSC, <laughs> where we're bringing senior citizen comedians to perform. <laughs> and it's great having you here. He just turned 80 this month. 80 years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I love, y'all. Y'all have no idea. I'm a mystery. <laughs> the, uh, the tip jar, of course, is open. Uh, if y'all want to tip Kareem, uh, you can do so top right corner of the screen. You can Venmo, of course. Uh, you can uh, you can super chat on YouTube or you can PayPal laugh from home. Uh, by the way, Kareem, uh, you are so right about that. You know, this thing putting couples to the test. I'm quarantined by myself. I still almost dumped me. Like this is how <laughs> difficult it is. You almost left yourself. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm like, I got to stop hanging out with this guy. Uh, and then also just the, uh, the tiger joke is so, it, that is so true that like, oh, I heard yeah. that and I was like, holy crap. I was like, the only people who can get a test are either tigers or named tiger. Yeah. Like, that's, <laughs> that's the only way. Uh, get tip, that tiger tip yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, or be in the cast of Tiger King. Um, that said, uh, throw some throw some tips in. Uh, and I know we had a we had a general come in. Meanwhile, uh, that I'll read out. We had a uh, uh, Liberty Smith threw in twenty bucks. Says it's not much, but a little tip for the lovely Courtney Hanson. Uh, and then uh, we also have. By the way, one of the hundred most beautiful people in the world. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Jennifer Kofid uh, threw in two bucks and said for Kareem, I stepped out for a minute 
came in and my four-year-old had an earbud in and was laughing hysterically. I have no idea what was said, but she thought it was hilarious. Mother of the year. So <laughs> <laughs> <For> humor. <laughs> for the record, yeah, it is. <laughs> Jennifer, if we could if we could see a picture for of that, that four-year-old to, to make sure that Ben's not the father, we would really appreciate that as well. <laughs> That one, I am the father, I, of, and I yeah. miss you both. I'll be home soon. <laughs> I thought I thought it was ballsy that Kareem opened up with deadbeat dad jokes with Ben right here in the room. Really yeah. really <laughs> <cool. laughs> uh, I am happy to be hosting this show for the last four weeks from an undisclosed location, and you cannot find me. Yeah. By the way, now we know why he hates Florida so much. Mm. Now we just figured out why. <laughs> By the way, Kareem, changing topics away from that. Kareem, I loved your diabetes joke. That is hilarious. A, a flavoring will not take me down. It's so damn <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you. Randall Longmire threw in five bucks on the Venmo and says, Kareem killed. Well, at least tased twice. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> uh, all right. So for Kareem... Uh, Hudson in Florida gave three dollars for Kareem. Great set. Frankly, oh. BOD gave five dollars for Kareem. I'm in healthcare and love the testing bit. Great set. Jessica oh. Kibble sent twenty four ninety nine and just said Kareem. Ooh, <laughs> that's how it's pronounced Thank with you. a lot of e's. Uh, <laughs> your boy sent thirteen ninety nine. Kareem's pretty jokes. L M A O. I don't know. In Canada, I guess they call them pretty if they. I like the jokes. So gritty. Z Buster gritty. gave $20 uh, for Kareem and the Ooh. four Taze jokes. Uh, nice. Scott gave $5 for Kareem and said, Great set. Wow, nice. that's beautiful. We I also think I'll get my stimulus uh, money now. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, we, we can't let anyone from the government see this episode. Otherwise, yeah. Kareem's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Please can it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Kareem, we have, Kareem, uh, has always, also. Kareem has always tried to pattern his career after Wesley Snipes, and he's doing great. So far. <laughs> I'm going for Blade Six. I'm going. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, so, you, you know, you know the other, you know the government a lot of money when they start garnishing your Venmo account. That's fucked up. That's yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. They already took his background. I mean, look. <laughs> So, so he's in a lot of trouble when they start garnishing his hot dogs. That happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the IRS comes and takes 40 of my hot dogs. But yeah. That's yeah. Funny. Also, uh, Bowers has never had a garnish on his plate. So uh, with, with that. Uh, I have a question for Courtney. Courtney, yes. can you tell us a little bit about your show, The Ride That Got Away? What made you create it? And like, what did you see that was missing and what can we look forward to in season two? So I was hosting a show called, uh, you said it earlier, Power Block, which became Power Nation for like 10 seasons. And, and I was thinking at some point I'm going to get fired for the girl who's half my age and attend to my rate. <laughs> and so <laughs> I need to be. Wait, do you have her number? And <laughs> and, <actually do. laughs> and, um, <laughs> and so I, I wanted to get into producing that was always the the end goal and um and but I love hosting too and I just I had an idea of doing a show where you would re reunite deserving people no celebrities no wealthy people but um really deserving people who give back to the communities veterans just people who give back and have gone through serious shit in their lives um, we would reunite them with their beloved dream car truck that they had to sell when they came on hard times. So um, I created the show and actually raised the money to produce it and um, got an incredible team together. The team is a little bit different in season two because well, we're going to be shooting in, in Atlanta instead of California. Um, but I but I feel like we're stepping it up on every level. But anyway, so we reunite deserving people with their beloved dream car and surprise them in this elaborate reveal after making the car into a work of art, like the work of art that they imagined driving. So it's really special it's and awesome. all the stories are different and it's, it tugs at your heart, but it's also a lot of fun and, and the guys on the show are awesome. So yep. love now, it. Now, Courtney, I have, a, I have a question for a friend that would be on the show. <laughs> In order to be on the show, would you have had to have paid your taxes or? <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good idea. 
<laughs> okay. Just, well, it's a shame. I'll let them know. I'll, I'll let them know. <laughs> and by the way, if you know anyone, if you know, and, and they, they don't have to have the car, like people will say, well, they don't have the car. They don't have to have the car. The whole idea is that it's the ride that got away. So if somebody had a killer 69 Camaro or 65 Mustang or whatever, a classic car that was special and they have a deserving story to go with it, you can submit it at Royal Garage. It's just R-O-Y-L garage.com. It stands for ride of your life. We do know how to spell. And um, <laughs> and you could also submit the story to me and I'll pass it along to the casting team, but we're looking for stories for future episodes. So now, Courtney, I heard if, what, that if you have, oh, it, so Courtney, if you have like a really cool car that you love, but you want like a nicer one, could you still be on the show? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> as long as you have a really deserving story and you give back oh yeah sorry i'm, I'm out i'm that's okay don't worry i'll be i'll be on a different show that's fine but you can't do it yourself it has to be done on your behalf so somebody has to believe that you're oh yeah sure dave hofstetter was gonna submit me <laughs> do you guys vet who submits the the, the people um, you know, we are doing a little bit of that. Like we're, we're doing background <laughs> and making sure that everything's above board and that these stories are genuine. You can tell, you can tell that they are. I mean, cause there's, there's pretty heavy stuff usually to go with the stories and they have pictures of the car. And so, um, it's cool. And you can check out season one on Amazon prime right now. It's called the ride that got away. I, ho I hope that you do. Cause I used to, I used to do a bit about extreme home makeover. Cause I freaked out when I found out that 10% of the people on extreme home makeover were lying about their situation no. and just trying to raise money for, to like, for their business. And like my joke about it was like, what is ABC's vetting process? Like they, someone calls up, be like, Hey, can you build me a house? They're like, yeah, well, where do you live now? And like, uh, in this empty field with these blueprints, if you could just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's bad. And that's ABC. Yeah. They, they, oh. they did not vet, uh, well at all. I Speaking of I... which, could I, could I have a vet? Is that. <laughs> I think. I, I think I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, uh, nominate Exhibit. I think he's on some hard times right now, and he's mm. got a bunch. Of <laughs> oh my we god! We found the popcorn that maker in the in the in the garbage. We found the hot dog machine. Like I gotta say, we just pimp it out. That yeah. I, I, Wait, yeah, let's do that. Bowers, are you just describing your car? <laughs> Yeah, I panicked. I, I didn't yeah. get another car. I'm like, what's my, like the popcorn, my car, the popcorn maker, maker, the hot dog maker, machine. Hot dog, machine. <laughs> the Very dog machine. I lift up the armrest. There's a hot dog roller in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, I heard, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that Bowers, while he does not have a classic 69 Camaro, he does have a basic 69 Disappointing. <laughs> either way we've got uh christopher capo threw in another 10 bucks and says kareem that was hilarious uh ben i also have a deadbeat dad good job ben uh, and then, so uh martin has 10 bucks for kareem and also a question please uh right. so yeah let's let's throw it to uh let's throw it to savannah i have peanut butter in my mouth <laughs> well, you should have thought of that before you gave us money hey, uh, for the show. I got a couple of super chats if you want to give her a second to yeah, have a glass of milk or something. Let's do, let's do some super chats. Okay. <laughs> Our college graduate thinks she can ask a question with peanut butter in her mouth. Just saying. <laughs> so, that? Wait, hold on. Wait, she's drinking She's drinking out of a successful mug. Sorry, give her a second. <laughs> so, uh, to the rescue... Nice. Gave, another, nice. gave another two dollars and said, "Also, bearded Rachel, Cali is California, which I know because I grew up there." Uh, <laughs> and uh, Shannon Kerr gave ten dollars and said, "Steve, I emailed you a bit ago and I told you how my fiance died and you made me laugh. Here's to making me laugh even more. Also, ninety nine cents for Bowers to get a new hot dog." And I just want to how brave it was that Steve made Shannon laugh when her fiance died. I was so terrified as that question was unfolding. Like as with each new word of that comment, I was like, oh, God, oh, no, oh no, what else happened? Oh, oh, and then she said, thank you. Oh my God, okay, thank you, thank you so much. What did you say to her that made her laugh about her fiance being dead? Or did she I, don't kill her? I don't know, uh, look, I don't know. 
you get a lot of emails from people saying their fiance died. You throw, throw back something. Actually, yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's your niche <laughs> really weird my niche has kind of become like consoling people i think it's because i talk about losing my dad and so a lot of people have like reached oh, out with yeah. that stuff and i very much appreciate it and it, it, it does mean a lot to me i don't remember making fun of the situation mm-hmm. which is why it's not standing up to me and, and like, then you rip them to shreds as soon as they email yeah that's you. what i do <laughs> do Comedian think- destroys person who lost loved one like that's, <laughs> I mean, in the story, yeah. grieving widow. Yeah. <laughs> I think that when 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 someone's fiance dies, it's because that person was just really afraid of commitment. Yeah. The, <laughs> you know what? I'm so glad that you emailed me and not Ben. I just want to say it's super important. <laughs> right? By the way, also, Who's that uh, Je- kid Jennifer Kofed Jennifer Kofed uh, sent, sent this picture of her kid and said that it's definitely not Ben's. So. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's cute. That's a, that's a super cute kid. There's no way it's better. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know why uh, Zoom decided to put the picture sideways because it wasn't sideways on my computer. Um, I but, see yeah. a lot of similarities here. I see a kid with a bright future, great sense of humor. I see a lot of skills, great teeth, great smile. Seems like it could be a fitting image, honestly. I think you guys just don't see it. Yeah. Uh, and it says, what is it? Future, future f- Farmers of America? What is the... Well, FFA is F- Future Farmers of America, so it's so a future, she's future future farmers, future of farmers of America member. He's gonna farm one yeah. day, but not for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah it'll be <laughs> from from now on. Yeah, I don't think that that kid is that kid is very clearly not Ben. There's no there's no way. <laughs> yeah, that, is- that kid's adorable. <laughs> Should we do Savannah's Savannah, question? Are you ready for your question? She's back for her question. Peanut butter yeah. curry. Let's do it. Um. So cream, great set. First of all, waiting on oh, your parents. Oh, thank you. Uh, or people in your family member in your family to die. That was great. I really enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> you talked about when it running. happens. By the way, I can console you. Just so you know. <laughs> yes. very good at that. I'm calling you for the dead joke. Uh, you talked about running in your set, uh, like just how you've been running. Uh, but on February 6, 2011. <laughs> She's doing the thing. She's doing the thing. <laughs> you, uh, you tweeted, I don't tweet much because I'm mostly a listener, but I'm practicing running my mouth skills, LOL. Are you <laughs> running in quarantine, like physically running or just practicing still? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Savannah is the show's detective, just so you know. She's the resident detective. <laughs> or even the detective. I haven't ran in years. But when yeah, I didn't say that in my set, but what I said working out, but what what, yeah, what did you Oh well I I guess I, I watched some of your videos beforehand, but uh huh. That's a okay. She does her homework. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, she graduated with, 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 Ben. Ben. <laughs> but what yeah, was the question was again? Oh um, are you running your are you, are you, are running, you running or running your mouth? Or just running your mouth? <laughs> Am I running or just running my mouth? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, right now, yeah, just running my mouth. That's, that's, that's all I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> running my mouth. It's, it's and I gotta thing. say, <laughs> the long walk we took to get here was also very <laughs> well, that, um, that, that tweet was that from was, nine years ago when Kareem was 12. So fun. Yeah, that was a journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the journey. following year, he turned 43. She came in hard at me. She found a 10-year-old tweet. <laughs> she was Kareem. She was she was trying to cancel you, and she found nothing. She was very happy about that. I, there goes my I do love, shot. I do love how Savannah has this great big ledger that she reads. It's like the book of secrets. <laughs> ledger, you are officially in this business. Her I entire. I mean, she had to transcribe his entire Twitter. So that I, takes a big I, I, I didn't know nobody ever searched my Twitter. I didn't even think my was Twitter worthy of searching. That was deep. Uh-huh. That was deep right there. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for our next ledger, comic? Savannah. Sure. I think we're ready. Are we ready for the next comic? Well, first of all, Kareem, what, what are your plugs? Where we can find where we can find you running your mouth or your legs? Where can we find you? What, what are, <laughs> okay. Where I'm mostly at, I'm not hardly on Twitter anymore. But uh, I'll be on, uh, I'm on Instagram at Kareem Green 21, uh, YouTube, The Kareem Green, and Facebook at Kareem Green 21. You know, those are my spots. So Kareem Green of your age, and that's where we'll find you. Perfect. Sounds good. All right. So 
Thank you, Kareem. One more time for Kareem Green. Thanks so much. Yeah, Thank you, everybody. Thanks for having me. And we're going to bring in our next comic. Are we ready? Uh, yeah. This next comic is amazing. She's uh, she's seen her on HBO Latino, XM Sirius Satellite, and she's also a regular at the com- world famous comedy store in Hollywood, uh, where they're having a benefit this week. She's going to talk about it a little bit. You know, for very funny, Carmen Morales, everybody, Carmen Morales. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah! Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate all of you uh, giving me a reason to shower. I have not been regularly doing that, so I'm glad you can't smell over Zoom. This is very nice. Um, (laughs) Anytime I do a Zoom show, I'm like, today's the day. I wash my hair. It's been nice. Um, Giving me a reason to get out of bed. This has been rad. Um, I, uh, I went to the, uh, I went to the grocery store, uh, cause I am brave. I'm a hero. And there was, um, I keep seeing people wearing masks, but they wear them underneath their nose. So they look ridiculous <laughs> and for no reason. Is that the look you're going for? Um, yes. I want to look stupid and also ineffective. Like, is there any way I can do that? Oh, yeah. I want my nose out. I don't want people knowing how is is are they do they just want everybody to know how much they paid for that fucking nose? Is that what's going on? I don't need to see it. <laughs> it makes no sense. These people are just ridiculous. I also have so many friends. I have so many friends that are watching like outbreak and pandemic and like all of this. The everything that we're literally living through that's just like watching tiger king while you're being mauled by the tiger like it's the same <laughs> thing. it's so stupid i'm opposite end of that spectrum i am only watching cartoons and movies from like 1993 comedies like that's it i'm going into <laughs> comedy for my theme that's my pandemic theme uh like a lot of people have themes for their wedding but my pandemic theme is <laughs> that's what i'm going for by the way, uh, if you guys haven't picked up on it, I know I'm assertive, but I'm actually a female. I'm abroad, um, a lady, very bad at it. This pandemic hasn't helped. I've actually put makeup on more for <laughs> during this pandemic than I have my entire life. I'm like, oh, I got a Zoom. I'm watching YouTube tutorials. I'm like, this is what bitches do, right? They put shit on their face. Am I doing it right? And <laughs> my whole life like i've been this way my whole life i've been a grown-up tomboy and then i just found out like right before all this shit hit the fan i just found out that i have high testosterone so my whole life i just thought i was bad at being a chick like there was something wrong with me and then it turns out there is ha! look at that <laughs> it's the house guys because I don't know what I have is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Don't fall asleep. It's very boring stuff. But all it means is that my body makes too much estrogen and then compensates with testosterone. Like I'm such a chick. I'm a fucking dude, dude. Like, I am ODing on gender right now, bro. Put you people put together. And it's a lot, if I'm being honest. Because it's almost like my body decided to transition and didn't tell me about it. You know, I'm just idling at 25% guy, which is just enough to give you some sweet sideburns and no boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys know the straight guys don't like banging other guys. And that's kind of the way they get off. It's going about it the wrong way. Like, the high tea just makes you do it the wrong way. Like, I thought I was supposed to nut check you until you fell in love with me. That's what I thought I was supposed to do. <laughs> Just like bullying the love of my life. Like, when are you going to marry me, you fucking nerd? (laughs) (laughs) No, guys like it when you're nice to them and shit, fucking pussies. I had no idea. (laughs) What's even worse is I think my 25% masculinity might be toxic. (laughs) Because sometimes I'd be relating to some of the shit these dudes be doing, you know? Like, I do have a problem with vulnerability. Like, the last dude that I dated, I was hanging out with a bunch of comics and i was on the phone with my dude i was like all right babe i love you and i was like later bitch like you're not gonna make me like a little bitch in front of my boys fuck you (laughs) it's difficult man the vulnerability thing is really rough for me because it's like i've like i've always been a top you know what i mean like i am i'm five foot and a half an inch and i have spooned more men in my entire life it's like why you got a shrimp work next to a ladle you're much bigger than me and I get it. I understand. I just feel safe in my arms. I get it. You know what I mean? That's the thing with testosterone. Everybody always associates it with, with sex drive, but it's also just drive in general. Like I have an undying desire to provide for a family 
I do not have. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. Boy, on the, from my face, I am not a mother. All right. I'm keeping it tight. I ain't. My kids are going to be a trip to Darfur. That's what it is. Like, I'm just going to go travel. <laughs> was, uh, I'll, I'll share this last thing with you guys and get out of here. I was at the, there was at the Trader Joe's and there was, I was uh, waiting in line with everybody. And there was a tiny little frail old lady that was, uh, that came in right when I was about to go inside. Right. And she was talking to the clerk who was like wiping down a bunch of carts, passing out the squirty squirt of the don't die juice. <laughs> And, uh, and she, was inside. <laughs> she was wanting to go inside and she was like, is there any way I could cut in line? And then the clerk started giving her the, you know, the, the giving her the, the fucking giving her the what for about how she should come back in the morning. Cause a lot of grocery stores are letting the old people go in first, the first hour of the day. She's like, you should come back in the morning. That's when the old people come and they shuffle around and get their dried fruit. That's what you should do. And she was like, I in the morning. Uh, but they, <laughs> there was a long ass line. So I got scared and I left. So then the woman looks at me and she goes, well, it's up to her then. It's up to her if you go inside. And I'm like, when did I become, when did you put me in a position of power? You know what I'm saying? Why am I, why am I in charge of what happens to this old bitch? You know what I mean? Don't put me, don't bring me into this. <laughs> saying this, I'm just trying to buy, I'm just trying to buy mixers for the vodka I've been mainlining the last three weeks. <laughs> this old bitch's life in my hands, you know? So then this tiny little old lady just looks at me with the biggest doe eyes I've ever seen in my life and is like, would you, would you mind? Would you mind if I went in front of you? And I was like, uh, yeah, I don't give a shit. Go ahead. I don't give a fuck because I don't care. Why would that matter to me? And then she stood, she doubled down on worrying. She's like, well, I don't want any of these people behind you to be upset with you. I don't want them to be, I don't want them to be upset. And I go, hey, listen, I don't give a fuck about them. Okay. If anything, I got allergies. I sneeze once and they all scatter. We'll have the whole fucking place. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> That old lady died, but she died making me a hero that day. So I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for my time, for your time, guys. My name is Morales. Morales, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As always, the tip jar is open. I saw some tips already coming in. Uh, if you want a tip, you can Venmo uh, up in the top right corner of the screen. You can PayPal at laughforhome.com or you can super chat us on YouTube. And by the way, Carmen, 100% agree. Every time I turn on Netflix and I see that like the trending movies are like Outbreak and Why? pandemic and contagion. Why? Yeah, I I watch distracting stuff to make me forget about this. Like, you know, Hunger Games and I Am Legend, Judge Dredd, you know, Blade Runner, 1984, <laughs> The Matrix, you know, like stuff that <laughs> scout, you know, where you can just kind of forget about this whole dystopian world and just- <laughs> Yeah, really, really, just double down on it, yeah. Yeah, just fade just into- your, So you're shaking in your own home. Yeah, I don't want to know about what's happening. I want to know about what's going to happen in a year or two. You know, like, that's important. <laughs> and find that the best way to really take your mind off it is honestly not watch these scripted movies that are about similar things. I try to watch Trump press conferences. <laughs> they're totally devoid of reality. And so it helps. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah, when you, yeah, when you watch that, it's very easy to just be like, oh, who wrote this? They thought this would be unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Writer Sharknado 3 or what? Yeah. Uh, by the way, shout oh, out. We've got some coming in. supposed to make it easier for me to suspend disbelief. Way. And I can't do that with you. <laughs> yeah. So, so Savannah Martin uh, throws in 10 bucks and says for Carmen. And then with tons of different emojis of, of pointings and happy cats and, <laughs> and feet and smiles and all kinds of stuff. Uh, Ellen Shaw uh, throws in five bucks and says for Carmen's don't die juice. Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got any coming in on, on YouTube? Uh, we sure do. Uh, for... Carmen, we have uh, $5 from Heather Scott. I hope they never incorporate smell into our virtual world. I'm still mad they can see me in Zoom meetings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, there's a trick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect. And uh, Jessica Kibble sent uh, $24.99. Carmen, that was so funny. You are super fierce lady. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, yeah. Thanks, Jessica. And that's also why that's why I beat up all of my boyfriends, is what she means. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a couple of uh, super chats come in, just general super chats. We had uh, a gentleman on Facebook, uh, Rio Glondo, sent 95 stars. And uh, Shannon Kerr 
uh, wanted to clarify what Steve said to her when she said that her fiance died. Uh, she said, Steve said he was happy to be there in a time of darkness. I can see why that made her laugh hilarious. And <laughs> it says, you didn't even read it right. It says uh, a light in a time of darkness. Mm-hmm. I didn't see the joke oh. still lands, dude. I don't know if oh. you're happy to be there in a time of darkness. Oh, but that's what I, but that's what I, well, that's what I usually say to comfort people. And maybe it was funny just because the idea of a light shining off my stupid head might, might've been funny. I don't know. <laughs> she also said, and I have two girls who are redheads and I knew my fiance since we were four years old and my kids red ginger kid and honestly loved Steve. This is also for Ben to get more mugs. And Ben. And Boom. She said exclamation points. <laughs> oh, not Thank only did so she say much. something super sweet and she supported the show, but she also took a shot at Ben. Mm-hmm. Shannon, we love you. <laughs> and, uh... and I love that uh, it just seems a little convenient to me that her kids are redheads and love Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? My wait, kids wait, wait, would be wait, wait. bald. Mm-hmm. My kids wouldn't have any hair. How comforting <laughs> were you, Steve? Fiance. How comforting were you, my friend? Mm-hmm. <laughs> in her time of darkness. What did you provide the light with? Your flashlight? What's happening here? Uh, <laughs> my, my question is, yes, my question is, Steve, is did, did she say her fiance died or you were dead to her? Maybe you were the guy. Mm. Fiance. Does that happen? Like after this? You know, yeah, that's, uh, like you this? know, you know, Bowers, don't uh, comfort people. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't try. I don't. I don't try to. I just stay at fun- funerals in this coat, and no one ever comes over to me, so it works out. Well, yeah, because they, they think you're the funeral parlor drapes. That's why. <laughs> they might use I, you to wipe their glasses at some point. But... <laughs> Two more super chats come in for Carmen. We had uh, Hudson in Florida gave three dollars for Carmen. That was awesome. And Z Bunster gave ten dollars and said, "Thanks, Carmen!" Exclamation point. Oh, anytime. Florida. <laughs> what I noticed though is sometimes when people uh, when people die, uh, the most the kind of comedy that they want is sometimes the most fucked up. Like I had that happen to me, like a buddy of mine, uh, his dad had passed away, and then I made this really uh, messed up joke about <laughs> banging his dead dad, and he was like, "This is the first time I've ever laughed since he's died." <laughs> and I was like, that, that joke didn't. Happen. Wait, am I a fucking monster, dude? <laughs> yeah. And that guy True. was like, that guy was like, oh, I can't believe this dude wants to bang my dead dad. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll be general, bro. I'll be fucking general, bro. <laughs> brings up the question, what are your boyfriends like in real life? Are they more like softer dudes? Are they, do they let you really be the alpha? Or is it kind of competing alphas? What's that situation like? Uh, it's both. It's a lot of time. Like most of the time, like uh, beta males are super attracted to me again because they're like, she'll provide for me. Right. So I get that. A lot. <laughs> and every once in a while, I'll get like an alpha male that'll like look at me and be like, oh, I could I could fight her for position, you know, and then so, <laughs> like I could battle with that bitch for a little bit. Right. And uh, either way, I'm open to it. You know, I'm always getting a fight. So but then sometimes I, I get checked. Like I, I'll get my like that shit. I'll be like I was I was seeing this dude that was like six, four, <laughs> like a basketball player, like a huge dude. And one day it was like it was like after a show and I had a good set. So I was real cocksure. Couple cocktails in. He couldn't tell me nothing. Right. I was sad see with this dude i was all up in his face and he just kept smiling at me and then i was like what what's so fucking funny dude and then he picked me up and like set me on my own bed and i was like oh (laughs) you're bigger than me okay (laughs) you win (laughs) i forgot Nice. Uh, I have, by so the way, a, another tip for Carmen. It's both things. It's both. Uh, Chris, Fair enough. Christopher Capo. Uh, Christopher Capo threw in ten bucks. Said Carmen, great set. Said the comedians on here have been killing it. Said and uh, and Carmen is killing it. It being old ladies at the grocery store. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> Steve, Steve particularly liked that joke because he likes killing old people in their garden. Oh, so, hey, that, that, that was garden. one guy, one time. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney. Yes. I wonder, are there times for you in your life where you feel uncomfortable, like being sweet or affectionate with your husband during when you're out in public? Do you ever? Say, all right, bitch, I'll call you back. Or are you being very sweet always and you don't care? Brittany, this is a trap question. You, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. <laughs> he would probably yeah. say I'm not always sweet, BG. 
<laughs> really? I think it's pretty safe to this. say I'm not on a suite. <laughs> I thought I thought this question was going to be like whatever answer you'd be, and then Ben would be like, because in 2008, I distinctly <laughs> recall. <laughs> He pulls out his big notebook, his book of secrets. In 2011, you tweeted, Ben Glebe is the great. Hilarious. Ben, I'm not always sweet, but I try uh, my best. You're a very uh, sweet person overall, I would say. Very sweet. I also like that you guys are, you know, you guys dated for a while, and you guys seem still like your close friends. Like, yeah. That's nice. With that doesn't always happen. With the whole kid thing. I go to his yeah, party. Like, that's... Carmen, that's for the birth- courts to decide. But like the <laughs> what's that, Courtney? No. I, I go to your birthday party every year. I even brought my husband to your birthday party. <laughs> yes, you did. I was on your talk show. Yeah. It was a blast. Yeah. You actually told a very funny story on my show about our first date or one of our or the first time you came over to my apartment. Do you remember that story? Mm-mm. Oh, there was no place to sit. There was no place yes, to sit. Yes. And wait, hold like, on a I... second. Hold on. Wait, wait. Can I just point out the disparity here? <laughs> that Ben remembers the positioning of the cover of FHM that you were on. And yeah. Courtney <laughs> didn't remember your first date. <laughs> <laughs> now, you want to share the uh, the uh, no place to sit well, story? I, I walked into this uh, and he, he's a clean person, but not a tidy person. Like he's a hygienic right. person, but not at all organized or tidy. I mean, the complete antithesis. So I walk into his <laughs> place and there there are clothes piled everywhere and strewn everywhere and magazines piled and books and, and just like all this shit and random things like Christmas ornaments, skateboard, uh, starfish, <laughs> like the craziest stuff, but like not even like the full skateboard, just like the board part, no wheels on it. <laughs> but, like, oh, he's, everywhere. he's also and Jewish like, and doesn't skate. So just want to throw those two things in there too. Oh, there's a bowling ball. There's a bowling ball. And like, oh, and just all this. And I thought, like, do I sit on this stack of porno magazines or do I sit in this like <laughs> on the bed that has like clothes piled for days? Like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. What a fun way to find out who PG is a hoarder. What's a what a fun yeah, way right? to find that out? Yeah. Total hoarder. Think that- Total hoarder. I think that that bowling ball, by the way, I left it at your house about 12 years ago. I don't know if you threw it away or if you still, still have there. it. But it's still it's there. Still there? <laughs> it has my I name on the, it. I used the starfish as the star in the Christmas tree. <laughs> I remember that. Oh my God. So they weren't Christmas ornaments. They were just dead marine animals. Courtney <laughs> <laughs> sent me on the Porter, task his buying the Christmas tree. starfish dead cat bodies. Yeah. <laughs> Courtney sent me on the task of buying the Christmas tree for your place and I never bought a Christmas tree before I'm Jewish I don't even know why I had ornaments and so I bought a tree that was too tall I remember being a little disappointed that it was too tall it basically touched the ceiling of your place and <laughs> right in there against the ceiling it was not an ideal setup it was very nice oh. about it it was fun. we improvised it was fun yes indeed <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't Jared, remember where I sat at your house that day. Anyway, <laughs> I think uh, I think on the bed it was you know it's all part of a plan. Just make a path only to the bed. <laughs> yeah, <It's> brilliant. <laughs> well, I this I isn't hoarding. This is preparation. <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought that was that story, but I, I had a buddy once. I went to his apartment in Denver, and like he didn't have a couch or any chairs. And I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Oh, bro, it's genius, man. The only place to sit is on the bed. So when I bring a girl back." We're already on the bed, man. I was like, you're a fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was a part of it. It was awful. <laughs> yeah, you just be like, hey, uh, be like, how come you don't have any napkins or paper towels or anything? He's like, oh, it's genius, man. Just chloroform rags that way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and look, guys, uh, I'm not going to confirm or deny if I'm a hoarder, but I will take the camera out of the tripod and just show you what's been hanging out here from the last few weeks of episodes. <laughs> New Zealish and the cheese head, <laughs> the sanitizer, the foam head, the mug, the egg in the back. Auction all of those tomorrow to try to raise money. Ben, oh my god! Uh, what you so don't see said, is he's sitting on a pile of of starfish. That's what you don't see. <laughs> his weight—it's a little uh, uncomfortable. Make a uh, wish, Jared. Make a wish, yeah, you sir. Catch us up? 
Uh, you know, we're we're caught up. We haven't had we any, bunch, any more. We got a bunch of game entries, though. Yes, yes, we have a and ton before, of... Before we do the game entries, uh, before we do the game entries, I want to remind everybody that tomorrow we're doing a special show. Uh, we normally don't have shows on Mondays, but tomorrow we're going to have a show on Monday that starts at 4.20 p.m. Pacific. Or, sorry, 4.20 p.m. Eastern, 1.20 Pacific. It is a stone-a-thon to get me stoned for the first time. If we rate, we're trying to raise money for the friendly shoulder grants, uh, where we uh, where we give money to out of work comedians. And uh, Ben's cousin was kind enough uh, to bring this by along <laughs> with a uh, a bag of goodies. Because if there's one thing I'm gonna do, it's gonna be wear a pot T-shirt. I guess I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> yes, on the thing. And uh, by the way, uh, just in case I don't like a white shirt, you know, figured hey, let's give uh, let's give some options. <laughs> Same shirt, but in black. Uh, also, uh, two lighters, which is super important because I'm probably gonna fuck one of them up. I'm really a newbie at this. Um, and uh, if I could say one thing about this bag of stuff, it's that it smells like other comedians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my, my entire apartment smells like comedians right now because they brought some over, and then Chrissy took it. Took a hit. Look at the YouTube video how, how to roll a joint because we only used a pipe and it did not work. So there's pot everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's like, actually what <laughs> I've been using this time in quarantine for. I've been I've been teaching myself how to finally roll a joint since I've been having other people roll them for me since I was fucking fourteen. I'm finally doing it. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm proud it's of you, good, Courtney. Good to also, know, if you good remember, to learn a skill. that Steve. cousin, my my cousin Dan, who now runs is involved with Cream of the Crop Gardens, the weed company. Uh, Crashed at your night at your house one night back when we all got super drunk. I don't know if you remember this. I remember. I remember that too. I feel like I was, was hosting fun. a lot of like after parties. We were going to the yes. comedy shows like pretty much four nights a week, and yes. and, and people were just co coming back every time. Well, they yeah, would your, your they would go to Ben's place, far. but there were no seats. Yeah, That's exactly. <laughs> Courtney's house wasn't that far from the improv and the comedy store, so we would often, Courtney always sits down to host the party, so we would go back there and drink tequila and have a good time. Good times. Unforgettable What times. is your favorite tequila these days? Because I have a brand new favorite tequila. It's, I think, the greatest of all time. I can't wait to hear it. Class Azul, the white ceramic bottle with the blue. I love that. Oh, that's good. That and then good. I always say this, like, you know, like, out of all the tequilas that I've tasted, and I think I've tasted pretty much everything in the world, and I've, I used to collect them and have a, a bar at the house, a tequila bar. Um, I need to make that happen again because that was fun. But I, I like, like, good old Patron. Like, I feel, it's like the Coca-Cola of mm -hmm. tequila. It's reliable. It's good. You don't get a hangover. And so, like, that, that's the go-to if there's nothing else, but Class Azul would be my favorite. If there's any yeah, that's poor a pretty people solid listening one. to this, Espolone is a very, very nice tequila as well. Uh, for it people is. who aren't, who don't have really good tequila money, <laughs> Espolone <laughs> will will make sure that you uh, you feel amazing. Uh, because yeah. that's what happens is like when I, because I, I do Zoom shows too, and I always drink tequila. And by the end of it, I'm like, who wants to party? But I'm isolated. <laughs> like I'm in quarantine myself. So I just party with all my stuffed animals. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I love that. I like Espelon. Espelon's really right. good. And I, like I think the best one is Don Julio 1942. It's my yeah. jam these days. So yeah. good. Nice, nice right. rich flex there. <laughs> rich <laughs> flex. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. People buy me shots. My boys and I have 1942 Tuesdays. We go meet on Tuesdays and get drunk. And they buy the shots. I drink them. And that's free. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah. I don't drink anymore, but you know, my, mine of taste, it was a very, it was a small, it was a little known one. You guys probably don't know it. Uh, it was uh, named after his founder, uh, Jose Cuervo. Ooh. Uh, it's a very, Ooh. yeah. I don't uh, actually so. like it. Don't react like I actually like it. I was pretending <laughs> it was a small brand. <laughs> did, did you know that oh. Cuervo is not actually tequila? It's not made of agave. It's actually tequila flavored vodka. Isn't that, a <laughs> that, is, that is something that both I didn't know and that I know that you knew. So uh, <laughs> tomorrow, right. we gotta do we gotta do the game. Obviously yeah, we've got tomorrow, a ton. Sorry, it go doesn't ahead. matter that you don't drink anymore because tomorrow, luckily, Steve becomes a stoner and will be living in a stoner life from now on. So I'm very excited about this. Yeah. By the way, there has been so much concern on my social media that they're like, "But you've been sober." I'm like, I don't. I'm not gonna like. I'm not freaking Barney from The Simpsons. Like, I'm not <laughs> suddenly gonna have like. <laughs> something it's like, i work in bars i'm around bars all the time like that's also my job. obviously pot isn't your problem something else is yeah, yeah. <laughs> self-esteem 
Yeah. What? And <laughs> talk to Steve tomorrow at 5, 10 p.m. He'll be like, hey, Homer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden be like, where do you get that red shirt? I don't even understand. Um, Steve's all right, got we have so many, How did that happen? We have so many <laughs> entries for the game. Um, so uh, let's uh, – do we have any non-paid that are, that are really great that we should read, or should we go right to the paid? We do, and we just got a uh, $5 uh, super chat from Robert Edwards. Uh, Courtney, my dad, bought his old race car from the 80s. Uh, it's a 40 Ford Coupe help, question mark. <laughs> um, oh, he oh, wants so to be on the show. The yeah. Well, but you have the car. Wait, did the car get away? Uh, he doesn't say. He said, my dad bought his old race car from the 80s back. It's a 40 oh. Ford oh, Coupe. Oh, so. Help. Well, if it's the ride that got away, we could help you. You could submit his story. And it's the ride that got away .com or royalgarage.com. No A in royal. And you can submit the story, but there has to be a deserving element to it. I think um, maybe he's just saying it's a shitty old car and can you help him renovate it? Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> For the right price, no? <laughs> on, that, on the show, though, we can make it happen. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to put a hot dog machine like, oh. in it. So <laughs> Not overhauling, right. <laughs> Talking about exhibit again. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, do we, what do we got, Jared? Oh, uh, we got so many. I just want to say real quick, Steve, how many times have we been on the road together? You didn't think to tell me that you're going to do a high show. Like, good Lord. Uh, I did, but you were high. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just forgot about it. And I can't believe you're going bong instead of edibles for your first try. Like that's you know you're you're you start you're trying to run. Oh no, I've like, been told by we're everyone. Not to scare them. I've been told by everyone not to start with edibles. Are you no. fucking insane? Mm -hmm. No, no, All no. Right. All right, so some non-paid good entries. We had uh, the contest uh, is to remind people it is quarantine a movie. Quarantine movie. Uh, T. Lee Witt 81, Alone in the Dark, No Joke, My Power is Out. Uh, <laughs> nice. Mark Pomfret, uh, didn't give a movie, but said directed by Quentin Quarantino. Uh, nice. Uh, <laughs> by the way, uh, that's Kill Bills. <laughs> uh, Jeremy H. said, Look who's talking, but it's who spelled out like the World Health Organization. The, uh, oh, nice. <laughs> not for long, they're not. That's uh, right. Lost in Isolation. That was a pretty good one. Oh, how about Look Who's Been Defunded? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I didn't see that one. Uh, that Lane Boy said, There's something about Mary. She has a fever and is coughing a lot. <laughs> uh, Raz Van Mindru said super bad flu nice and uh, Callus this one I liked a lot every time I see protesters online uh, natural born carriers nice <laughs> love it alright should we get to the uh, to the official entries uh, yeah cool. I'm going to read one real quick is one uh, I've got one that came in on Venmo uh, so Megan Smith threw him five bucks and played, uh, eat, nap, stay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So again, there, there are a ton of these. So if you remember to write down the ones that you like for voting. Yeah. Uh, uh Rock, so, so I know Kareem, we, Kareem had uh, a piece out. Can we throw out. any in if there's any that we have? Uh, I'm sorry, we have? yeah, yeah. We just do them after the game. So, uh, so Kareem, uh, had a, had a go. Uh, so, uh, Carmen and Courtney, you are helping decide the vote. So listen for your favorites. Okay. okay. So Robert Edwards gave two. He said speed to poos control, uh, and Star <laughs> oh, Trek, Star Trek for the Star Trek for the voyage. Well, damn, uh, <laughs> to the rescue had three entries, uh, Bridget Jones, stay at home diary. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle drive through and nice. and uh, SARS and the real girl. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Mario Misor gave five dollars, said Star Wars, the rise of hand washer. Nice. Uh, Day had a bunch of entries. Uh, infection instead of inception. Uh, no close encounters of any kind. Nice. Spider Man, stay at home. <laughs> nice. It's a wonderful quarantine. Uh, Doctor Strangelove, or how I learned to stop worrying and love the quarantine. 
And oh, uh, I put Doctor Strange cough was the one that I had for that. Doctor Strange cough. Strange good. <laughs> and also uh, James Bond from Wuhan with love. Nice. Uh, Kyra M had a bunch of uh, a bunch of submissions. Uh, Citizen Kane because he didn't stay home. Uh, <laughs> Raiders of the Last TP Supply. Uh, nice. See, I have the- Raiders of the Lost Mask. That's what I have. <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Mask. Uh, to all the boys I've loved through social distancing. Uh, nice. Schindler's list of essential items to buy. Uh, <laughs> fun was written. There's a note on it. It's still Kyra M, but she put a note on behalf of Chris Asmo. Uh, 28 days later, we're still in quarantine. Nice. And, uh, Don't be a menace to society while holding a My Body, My Choice sign and protesting stay-at-home orders in Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, nice. Raz Van Mindru had another entry Terminator Rise of the Virus Z Bunster <laughs> uh, for Chuck Farmer's entry SARS Wars oh, uh, nice. Adam Meisenheimer uh, Essential Clerks uh, oh nice <laughs> Richard Earl Deary Jr. had three entries Night of the Living Pandemic Rambo First Quarantine, and Superman for The Quest for Quarantine. Uh, Amina Saleh had two entries, Death at a Hospital, and uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kid's IQ. (laughs) (laughs) A very, very dark entry from That Lane Boy, Rocky, Relationship Has Ended Up in Domestic Abuse. Holy shit. Very dark. Uh, wow. Funny and fearless, we bought a Zoom stock. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and the last official entry uh, from Jeremy H. Four canceled weddings and a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just submit. God, you guys had some good ones. If I could submit my own non paid submission, uh, Toy Story yes. 5, the kids are always home, so the toys are just toys. Nice. <laughs> oh, also we had a we had a poem from last week's game that I was asked to to read. I don't know if you guys yes. will do that now or vote on the things now. Well, we'll vote on it. We'll close with the poem. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and and do any of our uh, any of our on camera folks, whether you're uh, comedians or guests or hosts or uh, audience, uh, have any that you wanna that you I wanna throw cu- in there? Couple. I get a couple. Um, yeah, absolutely. Go for it. No, no, no coughing for old men. <laughs> nice. <laughs> COVID of Arabia. Uh, one cough <laughs> over the antibodies test. Nice. Um, <laughs> COVID hood prince of TP. <laughs> <laughs> and I think well, I have one more. Oh, TP confidential is the other one I have instead of nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I have uh, apocalypse shortly. Oh, uh, I have economic <laughs> apocalypse now. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, and I also have the classic singing in the house. Uh, <laughs> I have a couple of them. Go for it. I got a couple. I don't have as many as usual, and I hope they're not as long as usual. Um, I've got all quiet on the Western civilization. Nice. <laughs> True. And I've, I've got gone because of the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and and I've got Raiders of the Last Cart. Of the last what? Oh, cart. Because oh. food, food, food going away. I was going to yeah. go with yeah. with Raiders of the Closed Park. <laughs> oh, that's good too. That's good too. I had. I, I also have Mad Mass Fury, Fury Road. Mad Mask Fury Road. Yeah, nice. Mad Mask Fury good. Road. Okay, and that's good. good. That's good. I want like. Karma's no country for old men anymore, and then never get out of your house. That was mine. Nice. We could also just go with the mask. That's a that's a good one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we did have a couple uh, of non-paid entries that were just the name of the movie, like Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, we would have gone Die Easily. That's the yeah. or Cough Hard. Yeah, Cough yeah. Hard. Or die alone with a vengeance. Um, <laughs> or how real. about how about how about instead of Annie Hall, I need halls. <laughs> <laughs> Annie Halls is good. 
Any holes. Any holes. Any holes. Any holes. <laughs> yeah. any holes. The cherry kind, the mint kind, any holes. Yeah, yeah. any holes whatsoever. <laughs> uh, all right. These are, there's so many good ones. This, this was incredible. I love how funny our audience is. It's the best. All right. With that, uh, let's take a vote. Obviously, if you guys want to vote in the comments what your favorite one is, uh, we'll see what the consensus are. Um, but that said, Carmen Morales, what's your vote? Um, my favorite was Honey, I Shrunk My Kids IQ. I, nice. I was going to say that. I was going to say that, too. I can relate to it. You guys, I'm homeschooling. And, like, parents are not teachers. Like, this is an art form. <laughs> and kids are defiant as shit. It is so hard. It's the yeah. hardest thing I've and ever Oh my gosh, it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. So I, I would your dad isn't helping. He's live streaming five <laughs> times a week. <laughs> True. And this is the hardest thing she's ever had to do. And she dated me. So you can tell how hard homeschooling is. <laughs> oh, activities, a, really. That's a good her, 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 her daughter's like, I don't want to rebuild a carburetor. Jesus Christ, mom. This is real skill. <laughs> And I also she's like, like I dated Ben Glebe for years. People do things that are difficult, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say, Candy? I also like the four canceled weddings and a funeral. That was clever. Yes. Awesome. And one right. can relate to that, too. Where does your vote go if you choose one? I, I like the, honey, I shrunk the kids IQ. That's hilarious. All right. Two votes for that. Off to an early lead. Uh, Bowers, what do you got? Uh, I like Eat Nap Stay. I love Sarge and the Real Girl. I love Citizen King for being outside. I like Schindler's List of Essential Items to Buy. I like Essential mm -hmm. Clerks. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I keep with a good one. Uh, we bought a Zoom stock. I really like Four Cancer Rather Than a Funeral. Uh, I'm going to go. We bought a Zoom stock. I like that one a lot. Awesome. We bought a Zoom. All right. Uh... Ben, what's yours? I, I hope you enjoyed the part of the show right there where Bowers recounts all of the entries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I felt particularly bad they, for the they, three they, he didn't they, name. They, <laughs> like the... uh, my vote goes to SARS and the real girl. That is hilarious. Uh, that is, this is a tough one. That's one of my favorites as well. I had, a, I had a tough time deciding between Eat, Nap, Stay, SARS, SARS and the real girl, and we bought a Zoom. Uh, we're just all of those were so good. Um, so What's the audience gonna, saying? I'm, Do you want to weigh in with the audience? Uh, I, I was going to say I was going to pick one. We're going to have a tie, and then the audience is going to break it. Oh, so, great! Man. All right. So I would say it is between Honey I Shrunk the Kids IQ and SARS and the Real Girl. Those are the two right now. So in the comments, vote for yours between those two: uh, SARS and the Real Girl or Honey I Shrunk the Kids IQ. And we'll decide on the winner from there. Um, so while while that is going on, uh, while the votes are coming in, Jared, can you read the poem? <laughs> yes. So uh, here is the poem from yesterday's game winner. Ben and Bowers liked my story. And now I'm here to claim the glory. Just another achievement is my gain. Just another reason to stay so vain. Thank you all for sharing the time. Most of your comedy is quite sublime. The contest winnings make me shimmy. Gimme. <laughs> that, by the way, <laughs> Savannah Martin in the front row. So. Hey, <laughs> we know it's in the rest of the book. It's poetry. <laughs> we had another super chat, just to let you know. Oh, yeah, throw, throw in the other super chat. What do we okay, got? Okay, from uh, Russ Grayton or Groton sent five dollars anyone help my cat is looking at me like samuel jackson in black snake moan what is he planning to do to me i'm scared okay uh, that's said, a long name for a movie i don't <laughs> fully understand uh we also had um uh luis marquez uh over on facebook sent 795 stars said got here because of steve and I'm having a really good time. Thank you all. Good luck. Cheers from Portugal. Well, nice. thank you very much to Portugal. We, we much appreciate that. Uh, and with that. I must be especially, uh, I especially appreciate when people watch from countries like Portugal, because to you, it's just a bunch of pretty faces, you know, and a lot of gibberish going on. So I really appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. <laughs> Was in English, I think Ben is talking about up. himself when he's watching Brazilian television. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, I don't understand. Not, I like it. I'm a fan. 
<laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't get it. No one's getting a wax. What's happening? This was poorly advertised. <laughs> and a Martin, by the way, would have read her own poem, except she had peanut butter still in her mouth. Loves mm. peanut butter, that young lady. <laughs> Just so you're aware, uh, people are more educated than you give them credit for. In other countries, too. In other countries. <laughs> FYI. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. That's why America's number one, baby. Look at that. They're unstoppable. Yeah, we are number one in two things. Uh, the most cases of COVID-19 and country code. Oh, and arrogance. You forgot arrogance. And Corona uh, deaths. Let's not forget. No, that's just Ben. That's just Ben. Yeah. I have not died of Corona. I don't know what you mean. No, I meant yeah, He got a, sen he got a okay. sense of smell back. Yeah, uh, I, all right. I beat it. I beat it. Beat it. We're, I'm a survivor. He yeah, he couldn't get a test though because he's not a tiger. So uh, that is correct. We, <laughs> correct. All right. What's the what's who break the tie? What do we got? Uh, let's see here on the on the Zoom. Let's see here. IQ, SARS, SARS. We don't. We're not going to actually count vote like what's the overwhelming there's three votes and uh sorry no, there's votes. also hold on a, there's about the... facebook and youtube and all the uh... <laughs> yeah. do you know that we yeah. broadcast this it's I not just now, us i thought you now i understand why you tell him about, about the weed thing now i totally get it now I, totally yeah. get it. <laughs> I would say that we're looking at i'm looking at the facebook i'm looking at the zoom sound. i'm looking at the youtube i got everything open sound. it's like it's like it looks to me like it's iq yeah yeah it's IQ. Yeah, I, I, IQ uh, on YouTube. It is overwhelming. Uh, yeah, almost uh, almost a sweep there. So uh, you uh, you agreed with our guests. Uh, you telling the host to fuck off. We're wrong. Uh, that honey, I shrunk the kids. IQ is the winner. Also, because uh, y'all probably have kids. So uh, that said, <laughs> the host to fuck off, just like Ben Glebe tells all of his kids to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my favorite <laughs> thing about this is we know this is going to be a running joke. Like, this is not <laughs> going to be over after this episode. From here on out, Ben is all of our fathers. That's just what happens it's from here on out. Which is about great for Steve, because that's what Steve needs. He needs a new daddy. It's the... That's exactly right. It's about damn time I was all of your fathers. I have a couple of things I'd like to explain to all of you youngins. Firstly... <laughs> I appreciate that any of you even believe that I've had enough sex to make babies. So I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of you. Um, I appreciate that you think I am enough of a, of a, of a playboy that I don't take care of the children that I have fathered. It's not true. I have a, I have a dog named Henry Horse and he's very happy. By the way, uh, <laughs> all I know. Bowers, Bowers, when our, when our dad Ben dies, I call dibs on the mug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to clean up that whole fucking house. It's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can hear everything you're saying. Well, Bowers, I, I mean, you all. go and get, you go to the store every four days, you can get cleaning products. So that's all right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's I'm, really excited. I'm also really excited about when Ben dies that Steve will start a grant in his honor, benefiting. <laughs> yeah. Benefiting it's other people who have called, neglected their children. It, it's going to be called benefiting. <laughs> uh, Guys, this is a really fun game. Who else is really excited about what aspect of when I die? Anybody else? <laughs> Else I have something? a very important super <laughs> chat that just came in, guys. Yeah, okay. So, uh, the winner of the contest, uh, Amina Saleh, uh, said, I've won before, so the other person can keep the prize. By the way, Glebe, working on my third degree and still hashtag Team Bowers and Nerdy Lex Luthor. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. Bowers, that, that said, okay. Uh, so and, and, listen, I know that sounds like a slam, but at least you didn't have any great thoughts about me after I die. So I, I think it's a compliment. <laughs> I think that was a huge compliment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Much love, Gleep Squad. Look, is it better to be is it better to be hated or forgotten entirely? All right, I'll take. <laughs> well, yeah, I, those I'll, the I'll only, take those people planning my death. Those aren't the only two choices, Steve. You know that, right? You can live your life in a way. That's not how it works. No, 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 Bowers. Bowers, you've known me for 10 years. Those are my only two choices. <laughs> You're well aware. Look, 
if I do die, you guys, at least I will die happy knowing that Bowers will be there in a very stupid jacket. Yes. I'll, yeah, that is I'll true. Wear I'll wear my. By the way, the fact that you would outlive me is insane. That's not going to fuck it. Or that would happen. <laughs> There's no way or, I'm. Or you mean you the either. other way around? That's what I mean. I'm saying I'm going to die before Ben for sure. What I think is funny is tomorrow on the show when Steve smokes pot. What if you all of a sudden became super nice and loving and like, hey man, you just <laughs> like, right? It's like it just clicked your brain one time and you just all of a sudden were like this affable, awesome guy that everybody just. Well, loved. well, before we risk that, I have one more thing to say to Ben. Uh, I, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Let me just say, in case guys, this might be on my angry deathbed. I have to be very careful. <laughs> This is my Let's last say, chance. <laughs> Bowers, Bowers is not the best at trash talk. I made fun of his jacket post my death, and he replied with, yeah, you think that's funny? I'm not going to outlive you. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a comeback as much as a reality check, man. I'm just saying, you're going to have to find somebody else to clean out that fucking house. I'm not going to be <laughs> By the way... By the way, uh, on Ben's on Ben's funeral at the funeral home, it would say it will say funeral of Ben Glebe once had sex with FHM's top hundred most beautiful woman. He'll, he'll be holding the magazine in the casket with her on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning up my house won't be that hard. I'll just have all my illegitimate children come over and just grab stuff. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's called inheritance supermarket sweep. It's going to be yeah. <laughs> you got ten minutes in a pillowcase to get whatever you can out of Ben's house before. You <laughs> yeah. All right, Courtney. I'm so sorry for everything that you had to no endure today. <laughs> <laughs> I signed up for it. <laughs> yes, it is. That uh, I think Bowers no, is broke right up though. With I think, it years ago. I think Bowers is right though. I think when Steve smokes pot, it's gonna be like comedian relates to heckler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gives heckler a chance to not be a piece of shit. Like I think it's really gonna change things for him. He empathizes with heckler. Comedian gives heckler benefit of the doubt that maybe they were just laughing too loud or in a weird way. <laughs> It's just gonna be like, a, like someone's gonna interrupt me and be like, "Nah, man, you know, it's a really tough time at home. I get it. We all go through something." Bad, you know? <laughs> After, should we get a, should we get a bite? Is that cool? I'm not sober anymore, so we can go get a drink because I smoke a lot now. I'm Barney, so no, no, don't make this sad, Steve. We're all having a good time talking about it. Don't make it weird. Make it okay? hey, that said, let's wrap up the show. So, uh, yes. Okay, let's wrap up the show. Uh, Carmen, do your plugs. What's up? Where can people yes. find out more about you? Carmen Morales, CarmenMorales.com for all of your Carmen Morales needs. Uh, follow me on the assorted social media at the funny Carmen. Also on Tuesday, the 21st at 5 p.m. Pacific time, we are doing a, uh, there's a benefit show for the comedy store. Please uh, watch that. It's at com thecomedystore.com. Please watch that. Uh, it's going to have Whitney Cummings, uh, Theo Vaughn, Bill Burr, an assortment of people. They're going to do three different hours um, and it's going to be great. All the money goes to the comedy store and the people that work there. Awesome. Wow, that is awesome. And uh, and Courtney, tell the tell the people about more about you and, and where we can find you and all that stuff. So my website's under construction. It's CourtneyHanson.com, H-A-N-S-E-N. Um, but it, the new one is coming soon. Um, the show, The Ride That Got Away, can be found on Amazon Prime. And season two is going to be on History Channel coming this fall. Um, and also Amazon Prime. And then in social media, um, Instagram's Courtney underscore Hanson, Twitter's Courtney Hanson, and Facebook is official. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for Excellent. being here, Courtney. Thank you. Hey, Thank Courtney. you for having me. Thanks, you guys. Bowers. So much. Uh, Bowers, what do we got? All the stuff. Bowersalbum.com for my new album, uh, Unpopular Opinions. Check that out. Excellent. And, uh, and Ben. Thank you so much. Uh, services will be held on Saturday between <laughs> 2 and 2.15. 2 <laughs> A salad bar at my parents' house. <laughs> Stop over to my house and grab stuff. Just grab some stuff on the way out. It would be great. <laughs> also, 
somehow I come back from the dead like Jesus on May 2nd. I'm doing a show at the Nowhere Comedy Club at 7.30 p.m., 10.30 Eastern. <laughs> and uh, you can get tickets at NowhereComedyClub.com. Thanks oh, for being I'll, here, everybody. I, I forgot something. Could I say something, if you guys don't yeah, mind? Yeah, sure. Um, if, if any of your listeners are lonely, I have a podcast called No Story I Don't Like It. If anybody is lonely and needs to pretend like they're on a conference call so they don't seem like a loser i have a podcast that you guys could listen to uh it's called no sir i don't like it it's uh, me we have i have a guest on we talk about shit we don't like it's super easy super fun which reminds me by the way after that plug that uh with all the talk of me dying perhaps my podcast shouldn't be called last week on earth with ben (laughs) 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 so uh, with that, um, uh, this Thursday, this Thursday, I am doing a, uh, I'm doing my full show at the Nowhere Comedy Club, uh, the full hour that I was touring with. Uh, so please check that out uh, with the possibility of a very, very famous comedian being a special guest. We're working on it, um, which I'm very excited about. And uh, more so tomorrow. So tomorrow, uh, I am going to look like this. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow I am getting stoned for the first time. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. If we raise enough money, it's, it's not guaranteed. So, uh, you gotta, you gotta come watch, come participate. It'll be on all the usual channels. Uh, enjoy. We're going to play stoner themed games. Doug Benson is a guest. Uh, we also have some amazing other guests that we're going to reveal through the episode. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, I'm going to learn how to, this is a pitcher, right? You, you pour the pot out like that. Is that yeah. how you do it? <laughs> yep. 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 Yeah. It's, it's like, like a, steeping it's, tea. It's just like steeping tea. Yeah. Just, just yeah, like a decanter. And... Is that how yep. it's going to, yep. all right. Yep. I'm going to burn down. Tomorrow's going to be so much fun. Tomorrow's going to be so much fun. And even more so because I will be stoned in the first five minutes of the show. I'm pretty sure. So that'll be very exciting. <laughs> Yeah. And as we say in Judaism, how is this night different from all others? Um, but that said, <laughs> uh, you guys were wonderful. Right after this, uh, Katrina Davis has a show at Nowhere Comedy Club. Uh, go check it out. She's super funny. She's been on the program before. Uh, if you enjoyed her there, you will enjoy her live. Uh, Brett Drock is hosting it. It's going to be great. Uh, so check that out and uh, and we'll see you soon. Uh, take us Thanks out, Taylor. Thank you so much.